Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today's a little bit more of an informal video. I uh, just wanted to kind of update you guys with what's going on in Season of Discovery Phase 2. So, as you guys know, No More Guns, a level 40 raid, right? You're going to need a lot of these fire protection potions in order to, you know, kind of exist until you get a couple of those BIS items. But uh, the recipe itself isn't too expensive, but, but you need them. They last one hour, they're just like shadow protection pots that everybody was buying for the old um, BFD raid. So, if you can get while the going's good, you can get some good going. Because look at this. Right off the bat, so max level is level 40. It looks like the Dreaming Whelps and the Adolescent Whelps are going to be crazy. Because they're 25% drop chance and 22% drop chance, but then when you look... So the, the image looks great. It looks like they're super dense. There's a lot of them. Same with the Dreaming Whelps. But it's not really like that. It really isn't. So we tried this farm for 30 minutes. My friend Deshaun and I. We tried the farm for 30 minutes. We came out of there with like, I think, five or six uh, small flame sacks, which is okay. Like, that's not terrible. But, so I'm going to exit out of these two. Look at, this is one area in the wetlands, Okay. Flame snorting whelp. Huge. Look at the drop percent chance on your small flame sack. 23%. Crimson whelp. Look at where they spawn. They're all in the same spot. Ready for this? 17%. Red whelps. Look, there's a pajillion of them. It's a little bit lower. This one's 9%, but and so are the lost whelps. So there's two 9% drop rates. And then you have your, uh, what is it, 20%, 23%, and 17% drop rate. So you are rolling in these small flame sacks if you just walk up and down and up and down. And with two of you, so I was farming along this side, getting the flame snorting whelps and uh, the crimson whelps and killing a few red whelps and lost whelps every once in a while. But Deshaun is cleaning up all this right side and I'm doing the mountainside on like the left. Now, if you're looking towards the south of the map, incredibly efficient farm um these fire protection potions i believe are selling for like a gold 50 plus right now per potion which is ridiculous because all you need is one small flame sack some fire oil and some leaded vials and if you didn't know so fire oil is pretty cheap to make all you need is two fire fin snappers which right now in the auction hall people are kind of pricing them all over the place um, because they were fished to craziness last season. So in uh, season one of Season of Discovery, like phase one, people were fishing like tremendously because it was a really good gold farm. So the market was kind of saturated with them and people couldn't make the fire protection potions yet because of 165 alchemy. But now we can make those fire pro protection potions and it's big money. So we've been farming. We've been farming. We've been farming indeed. And uh, I'm going to pull... Oh, I'm in the Undercity, so that works. And I'm, look at me, right at the auctioneer, like I meant to do it. Uh, pull up the old calculator. So you got my numbers. Uh, yes, show runes. The Ratchet Kings. Uh, there's Gorilla. Gorillas are crazy. Uh, basically, this is just insane. Thunderstomp shakes the ground with thundering force, doing 70 to 80 nature damage to all enemies within 8 yards. So there's no limit on enemies. You, know, you can just hit a million. Okay, let's open my bag. So I have 14 gold right now. I'm not super juiced up. I spent a lot of money trying to level engineering up again. Uh, but that's besides the point. Got a whole bunch of food in here. A bunch of tasty omelets. Alright, I'll show you guys. Let's take a little look here. Uh, oh, it's not on. But let's uh, fire protection. Look at that. Two gold, 15 silver for one potion. So let's put, uh, so that's $2,000. Basically. And then, so let's say we sell, let's look at the, like the availability here. So this guy has four stacks of five up for 10, 79 each so if you just sell a stack you're gonna be making like a, almost ten and a half gold so multiply that by four 
that's 42 gold and you could probably farm the mats for that in less than two hours or just like literally two hours so you're making like 40 gold every two hours uh, i'll show you the fire fins next look at all the uh oh fire fine what the hell i hate the freaking rp things but see some people still have them pretty cheap like nine ten silver and these guys are obviously just selling stacks of 20 because they know they know that fire protection potions are a must-have people are starting to like understand they're hitting max level they have to do the raid so you know they're they're buying their potions uh, and then I will show you the small flame sacks so even if you can't craft the potion look at that dude six stacks of one literally a gold 30 for one of these flame sacks so I, you might even make more money if you just sold your sacks. I know that sounds pretty gay, but uh, 1.31 times. So let's see what he has on there. So five. So you're making six and a half gold, and five. Literally, we, we got. I got seven in 30 minutes, uh, in the area that I just showed you guys that I just covered. So it's a pretty lucrative farm. Um, don't go spamming it, but. Uh, I'm just going to show myself off a little bit here at the end of the video. I'm not super, super biss, but yeah, I still need a couple things from BFD before I get rolling here. My helmet's okay, 8 Agi. This is nuts. The kaleidoscope chain. In incredible necklace. I literally just got it from killing a whelp. Still have my BFD shoulders. This cape is awesome for killing the whelps, obviously. Increased attack power by 18 when fighting beasts. But I don't think they're beasts, so I'm actually dumb. Don't listen to that. Five agility bracers, but here's my prize possession right here. Deadly Strike of the Hydra, plus five weapon damage. Looks pretty cool, too. It'll be uh, my weapon of choice till I get the Ravager from Armory, my Scarlet Monastery there. But I have Beast Mastery on, and Melee Specialist, Flanking Strikes, and all my gear's pretty fucking sick. I could use a new Waste. My Waste is like, all right. I have it on there basically for the 12 attack power. Uh, but my, I have the raid set boots, I just need one more set for that plus 12 attack power, plus 6 agility ring, then I have the strength ring because I'm melee hunter, and then my rune of duty and the pearl, plus 18 attack power, so I'm pretty kitted. Uh, if you look at my extended stats here, 6% chance uh, to crit with my melee. Melee attack power could be a bit better, but I'm hoping to get crossbow today. Today is reset, and if you look at the monkey, monkey's crazy, man. This gorilla is a nut bar. Literally 2556 armor. And he's disgusting. 2405 without any buffs. He has so much health. And look at his resistance. 64. And I don't even think he's fully trained, is he? No, he still needs nature res uh, rank 2. But I don't think I can train it to him. I don't know if they can get above rank 6. Uh, I haven't uh, gotten to level 40, obviously. So, yeah, there's that. That's the... Uh, the gold farm and a little bit of my character and how phase two is going hopefully you guys enjoy the video and uh, i'll see you in the next one make sure to drop a like drop a subscription because i'm a fucking nerd and so are you